Hi, I'm Ryan, and my life is average. I'm back, and now with more tattoos. Ding! I gotta remember to add the... Ding! Okay. So I know it's been a while, I'm not gonna make up some excuse I've been busy, okay, I've been like painting action figures and getting tattoos. There's really no excuse, but a lot's been going on lately and you may be saying, Ryan, what have you been doing? Well, I'll tell you what else I've been doing. I've been plotting. <laughs> because recently on the news, you've probably heard people are planning to raid Area 51 in Nevada on September 20th. There are a lot of memes about it. There are people going crazy. There are people that are actually going to do it. And I've been plotting and looking at all the maps and the charts and the memes and the things that people have been saying. And I thought to myself, it's all wrong. Everything that people are saying, oh, we need to send the Kyles and the Karens, and we need to send the people that drink Monster Energy drinks. No, that's too hard. Okay, that's too much effort. You don't need to do all that. You don't need to sacrifice the lives of innocent Kyles and Karens because who is going to piss off Marshall employees if Karen doesn't exist anymore and it fails? I can't live a life without seeing any Karens at a Kohl's. So I came up with a plan. Huh? You like that? Eat your heart out, Casey Neistat. I can buy poster boards too. Ooh. Who else in the world is better at conning, deceiving, and manipulating than YouTubers? Hear me out, okay? There's thousands, there's millions of them. They love attention, we all do, of course. And 99.8% of YouTubers, that is a fact, I looked it up on Wikipedia, all live in Los Angeles, California, which is very close to Nevada, where Area 51 is, right? So instead of having to get all the people from all over the United States and the world to do this, how about the big group of people that are already a lot closer? So the goal is to get the number of guards to go down as fast as my subscriber count will in this video and as much as it's dropped in the last eh, six months. Now, how do we do that, you ask? I'll show you. Okay, I'm just kidding, that's not the actual plan. I got an extra poster board because I can't do math and I really wanted to write the word penis on it because I'm a grown man and I can. Okay, here's the actual plan. See, you have this beautiful map of Area 51, which is usually like this, but I put it this way because I don't know how to draw. So this is where the aliens are. This is where I believe they live. See, that's an alien. And if you look really close, you can see that these are really long arms because I think aliens have a lot of arms. Then we have a bunch of YouTubers all around here and they are going to have a different task to try to get in and succeed in the breach of Area 51. In my opinion, this is the greatest way to successfully get into Area 51, free all the aliens, they can become vloggers. A pigment on an alien is probably great for the beauty guru community because Lord knows they need something. They need some positivity. What about an alien? So now I am going to talk to you about each YouTuber and their role in how they will successfully complete the Area 51 breach. First up, we have Laura Lee, James Charles, and Logan Paul, and they just have a straight line. They're not really inside the facility, but they're right near the walls and the fences. Now, Laura Lee, James Charles, Logan Paul, they're all very important, okay? You can even add Tati Westbrook into there because they are the apologists. Now, they have a very big goal and task at hand here because they're gonna be the first group of YouTubers to go in. What are they going to do? Manipulate, okay? They're gonna have a script and they're gonna just hit it. They're gonna do the fake tears. They're gonna do the fake crying and everything, and they're gonna go in front of the gate and just start freaking out saying how sorry they are. The guards at the front are gonna be like, what is going on? Why are all these people crying? And some of the guards are going to believe the bullshit. Now, of course, others will see that that's fake and they're lying, but most of the guards are going to at least pay attention to what's going on here. And that is going to get a bigger group of guards over in one area and distract the other group so other YouTubers can go in and swiftly perform their tasks. So, shout out to the criers and the apologists. Ooh. Next, we have the ASMR channels. Now, you see, they have kind of a weird line, and I'll tell you why that is in a second. Now, if you don't know what an ASMR channel is, they are groups of people that whisper, speak softly, and touch and tap things to get your sensors going crazy so you can sleep. So that's the goal. 
a lot of these ASMR channels are going to all kind of quietly tiptoe. They're gonna get you know really quiet. They're not gonna wear anything swishy. No Adidas track pants, okay? They're just gonna go in and they're gonna go up to the guards and they're gonna start whispering to the guards. Now there's a bunch of coordinates, so they're gonna go to the side and they're gonna start whispering and they're gonna be saying, hi, okay, so we're here. We're here to raid um, Area 51. Okay. After a little bit, the guards are gonna start getting a little tingly and a little sleepy and before you know it, boom. At least 10 out of the thousand or so guards are gonna be passed out. They're gonna be sleeping. Those guards will never see it coming. Ooh. Next up, we have Tana Mojo, but I forgot how to spell her name and I was too lazy to change it. So I put Tana Mojo and it looks funnier that way. Now Tana's role is simple, scream. That's it. She's just gonna scream and she's just gonna make shit up. And the guards are gonna be so stressed because they're not gonna know what to believe. They're gonna be like, I don't know what she's saying. She said the guard did this, I don't know. I'm not sure. Can someone please handle this? Because we're not sure if she's good at this. We're not sure if she's being serious or not. And she's just screaming. They don't even know what she's really saying. Something about a toothbrush and an alien, we don't know. Ooh. And we have me here in yellow. Now you may be saying, Ryan, why are you putting yourself into this? Okay, you're not even really a YouTuber anymore. And I know that, trust me, but I can be of assistance because there's going to be some guards. Maybe they're armed. Maybe I get the armed guard. They come up to me. They see a guy with tattoos. They're like, maybe this guy's up to no good. Not realizing that I physically could never harm anyone because I'm weak and insecure. So they're going to say, wait a second. I've seen this guy before. And one of the female guards may come over and say, I've seen this guy tweet about the Dolan twins before. Isn't he a little too old for that? And they laugh and then I'm standing there like, oh God, here we go. And then another guard comes over and says, no, 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 you're thinking of the wrong person. That guy was on tour with Keenan JC, okay? I've seen him before. He was like the opening act and I think they tased him a couple times. And then they all laugh and they say, oh my God, poor guy. And then a third guy comes over and he says, no, 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 you got it all wrong. I've been doing this guarding thing for a while, okay? I know the internet. He was on BF First GF. He was the kid with the long hair that would just be in the vlogs. And he'd had really no role in the vlogs, but he was there. Now, while they're high-fiving and laughing and cracking each other up, I insecurely walk backwards to my car to leave, but they're just watching me the whole time. Distraction and diversion. Ooh. Here we have Shane Dawson, and there's really nothing to say. He's just sitting in a chair watching the entire thing. He's just, he's not gonna get up. He's just gonna watch. Ooh. And we have Mr. Beast, which I spelled wrong. I don't know how I spelled Mr. wrong at first. I put me beast. So here's me beast. Mr. Beast is known in the YouTube community for giving away money to people. So why stop now? There's gonna be a big group right out front of the alien protection area in Area 51, Mr. Beast is going to go up to that area and offer them $100,000 to the guard that can stand still the longest. Now, of course, this is going to attract a lot of people because they're like $100,000, that's more than I make. So there's gonna be at least 50 to 60 guards standing in a line for a Mr. Beast video that was sponsored by Honey, of course. So Mr. Beast is gonna line them up and they're gonna have guards from all shapes and sizes, standing still for hours at a time to compete for who can get the $100,000. Now while that's going on, we have Emma Chamberlain here and I'm not even gonna mess with the contrast because it's yellow and I forgot that that looks terrible on camera because I haven't made a YouTube video in seven months. Emma Chamberlain is going to be on a lot of caffeine. She's going to have about seven coffees in her and she is like Sonic the Hedgehog of this process, okay? Emma Chamberlain is just gonna beeline it for the front gate like the honeycomb guy, the little blah, blah, blah. She is just, she's hopped up on caffeine, okay? And she's little so you can't really see her. So Emma Chamberlain gets in rather easily because she just runs right past the gate. She doesn't even realize that she's inside by the way because she has so much going on with all this sugar intake, she's in. And, and no one really knows. Keenan and JC, straight center, right in front of the gate. Keenan and JC are gonna be in a box. They're just in a box. And it's gonna be a nine part series in the box, but it's gonna get views. Ooh. Here we have the Dolan twins. Now, Ethan and Grayson are twins. They're about six foot tall. They're built like Greek gods. Now you're thinking, this is easy. They could probably just rip the damn gate open if they wanted to, if they had enough protein in them, if Grayson ate a steak. That's not the case. Grayson is going to start building. Now he's a builder and he is going to uh, start building a giant staircase, okay? He's gonna build a giant staircase out of wood. It's about 25 feet high, okay? So then, all Ethan has to do, he needs to get a giant pool, 
okay, a giant pool, and uh, Colin's Key's gonna walk by with a big old bucket of Orbeez because he just has them 24 seven because that's what Colin's Key does. So all Ethan has to do is throw a blow up pool over the fence. Colin's gonna dump the Orbeez from up top of the build into the pool and then they're all gonna jump in it. But instead of getting a giant pool to put everything in and safely jump in, Ethan, a little too late, realized he just had an oversized bucket. So they argue for about 45 minutes and then they just leave. Ooh. Sam and Colby. Now if you look, Sam and Colby, they get inside. Sam and Colby, they're explorers, but with an X and they dig a hole and they get in. They're already inside before this damn raid even happens. They've already spent 48 hours inside of a haunted basement inside of Area 51. Now we know that's gonna get 20 million views. They don't even realize other YouTubers are here doing this because they're so deep in this damn basement trying to find ghosts. They have no clue. Um, so they're gonna be in there for a couple months and then they're gonna get arrested again and they're gonna make more merch and they're gonna profit. Ooh. Now on the opposite end of Sam and Colby, we have TikTokers. There are a lot of TikTokers breaking into the scene with their incredible skill of just looking good and then moving fast and looking at the camera to copywritten songs. But they're blowing up because they should, right? Because they're good at everything. Now, as you can see, there's a little area in front of the TikTokers where it's like blocked. And you're thinking, well, why doesn't their arrow go all the way up like everybody else? Everyone has a roll. Well, there's about a six foot fence in front of them. Everything's open to the right side of them fence wise and everything's open to the left of them. There's just one six foot area that's blocking them. But unfortunately, the TikTokers, they can't problem solve very well because they can only do one thing and that is look good in front of the camera and lip sync. So they have no idea how to get around this fence, even though all they have to do is learn other things and simply walk around. But they can't work together because they're so self-centered. Dude Perfect. Dude Perfect has one goal, to take out as many security guards as they can in under one minute with a Frisbee. So they're gonna just be winging Frisbees as fast as they can, trying to injure the security guards and surprisingly, they end up taking out 175, which is a world record! Whoa! Once again, it's yellow, it doesn't matter. It's Jenna Marble. She's got a squiggly line. You can't see it, because I'm dumb. Jenna Marble's maybe the smartest of all here. She just dresses up as an alien. She uses prosthetics, she uses makeup, she goes along with the meme, and uh, she brings Julian with her like it's her handler, and she's just an alien. She walks right in, she does a little wave, gives the peace sign, the guards say, what's up? They're not even phased by it because aliens escape and then, you know, the government probably kills them. But they were, you know, they knew that there were people around, cameras and YouTubers. So she just walks right in. She doesn't really know what's going on when she's in there. And then she misses her dogs and then she leaves. So we're starting to get close to the end here, okay? We have Curtis Connor. And as you can see, he's kind of in the parking lot. He doesn't get very far, but there's a reason for that. Curtis Connor has blown up recently and as he should because he's a very funny guy who works hard. And speaking of work hard, he comes out with a lot of merch he realizes he's in a perfect niche area to come out with a t-shirt specially for today. So he is actually selling bootleg merchandise on a table to all the other YouTubers and bystanders that basically says, I am a YouTuber and I am here to raid Area 51 in Nevada at exactly 9.35 p.m. with other YouTubers when it's 98 degrees out. Ooh. Cody Ko, he's up next. Cody Ko may be the biggest mastermind out of all of this so far. We've had some people that have gotten in, we've had people that have messed up, their plans have been foiled. It's not going as great as possible, but Cody Ko walks in. No one looks at him, no one can tell. He just walks in through the gate, walks through security, waits for someone to open the door. Now, Cody Ko is the first person to officially get in the brains of the operation, okay? He is in the control panel. He is in the center. People, oh, you're probably thinking I'm gonna make a joke. Oh, he's invisible. No one knows he exists. No, Cody's a very popular influencer. People know he's around, but they just can't see him because he's so sure. Ooh. Will Smith is next. Now I know what you're thinking, Ryan, Will Smith, he's not a YouTuber. Why would you waste a name for that? Well, this is what happened. YouTube heard about what was going on. Okay, they saw all the tweets and all the posts about the YouTubers going to raid Area 51. And they said, whoa, wait a second. Instead of calling the police or doing something about it, let's just send Will Smith because you can't think about YouTube without thinking about Will Smith. And they know that they can get that to be number one trending and get that sweet, sweet ad revenue because Will Smith is a plant. Now this next one's a big one. We have Jake Paul and if you look his arrow, 
is the longest route. It's, it's, it's almost two miles that this man goes to get into this. Why is Jake Paul going so far? What's taking him this route? There's people everywhere. Well, Jake is going from person to person to see who he can mooch off of next to try to get his clout up. Now at this point, okay, it's been a couple months since this video and uh, Jake and Tana, of course, broke up with their fake relationship that was for views and for her show and that's fine. So Jake needs to find somebody else. But it's kind of hard because people are on to him and then this one lasts a couple minutes and then this one and then he gets engaged again for the third time but it's of course never real. So Jake's having a really, really hard time finding somebody because everything he does is staged. But he ends up buying one of the female guards a Lamborghini and she, of course, swooned, lets him inside and he starts to vlog a couple of the aliens instead of releasing them like we were supposed to do. Um, he just vlogs them for content and that's really why he went, just to get more followers and views, so. You, now you may be looking and saying, Ryan, okay, that's that's everybody, right? Like, that's it. You know, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Well, you missed somebody and it's right here. And that's David Dobrik and the Vlog Squad. Ooh. This entire video, this entire concept, this entire raid from all the YouTubers was one giant collaboration with SeatGeek, known as Project SeatGeek. For the months leading up to this giant raid, David Dobrik was not doing much on the internet, okay? He stopped doing a bunch of random interviews, he stopped uploading his vlogs, his second channel, and he stopped giving his friends money. So they stopped talking to him. I'm just kidding, that's a joke. They were like, what's going on? Where's everybody? Where's the vlog squad? Where's David Dobrik? YouTube is not the same because he is pretty much the king of YouTube. He's been plotting this whole time. So he's been saving up all the money he's been earning and SeatGeek's been saving up all money that they've been earning to form Project SeatGeek, a $3 million plan to buy as much dry ice as legally possible in the United States. Now with this $3 million and all of the YouTubers in place distracting, talking, doing whatever they have to do, manipulating their way inside or outside, David Dobrik and his fellow con men, which is just Jeff because he was in jail before, they have a giant helicopter that Jonah is flying with Jason Nash. Now, of course it's wobbly, but he's up there and they attached to it have a gigantic million gallon sized bucket. And David Dobrik is inside of it with just the most amount of dry ice that you have ever seen, except it's not David in the bucket, it's Natalie because he pays her to do that kind of stuff. So David Dobrik is miles and miles away in safety and he presses a button. And when he presses that button, the big bucket flips over, Natalie hangs on for dear life and all of this giant dry ice falls into Area 51. A gigantic cloud explodes over it. Nobody is hurt or anything, but they can't see and that is when Cody Ko and Emma Chamberlain free all of the aliens out of the cages and they leave. They walk right out and they go. Ooh. And on the way out, only one person gets hurt and that's Logan Paul. Okay, now Logan Paul, he doesn't realize he's vlogging, he can't see, but he's vlogging with all of the dry ice he doesn't know. Now when they make their way out, he's still kind of talking to the camera and an alien ends up kind of, you know, they're big, really hitting them hard, accidentally, of course. Logan Paul is knocked out. Now everybody's like, well, what do we do? And then an alien comes by with a hoodie on, and he's already has a vlog camera. And he films him on the ground like that, not moving. And he uploads it to the internet, and it gets 50 million views. And that's it. But that's it for me. I appreciate you guys for still being here for probably the 5,000 of you that are watching. That's cool. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. And until next time, hey, stay average. Yeah!